this video on blocking a halo block. Now this block is from Highland Hat Blocks and it is a polystyrene block. Brilliant to use, lightweight, they'll last forever if you look after them. Now I know some people have struggled blocking with Cinema on this, so I thought Cinema would be the first blocking experiment. First of all, cover your block with cling film, saran wrap, and then decide on the cinema you're going to use. Now I'm using a black with Lurex thread. Now I need it to be on the bias and I need it to be wide enough to go around the block. So you can see I'm two or three inches either side of the block and I'm going to cut two strips that are long enough to go around. Now you need good quality cinema for this. If you've got very lightweight cinema, I would suggest using three layers. But with this, I think two is going to be fine. So I'm cutting off the salve edges. They're always a nuisance. So there's our two strips and I'm going to dampen them so that I can stretch them. So I'm squirting them with some water, but you can steam or whichever you prefer to do. I always end up with a table full of water when I do it this way. Once it's damp and pliable, we're going to need to stretch it and pin it. Now the good thing about these blocks is you can use ordinary dressmaker's pins, but make sure you have glass headed or beaded end pins so that you don't push them in and they disappear into the block. So stretch your cinema to give it some pliability. And we're going to place the block on and we're going to do one side first. So we're going to choose the center and push a pin in. Oops, it's a bit wobbly on the on the table here. So we're going to do one side. So what you need to do is stretch the cinema so it follows the curve. And again, pin. Now if you've got it stretched enough, you shouldn't have any creases or pleats in it. So be careful as you go along. Now you may find that you do a bit and then it doesn't look great. It's a bit crinkly or creased. So unpin and start again. So you need both sides to be able to stretch around over the curves. And you can see I feel I haven't got quite enough on that side. So I take the pins out and just readjust the positioning. I've wrapped it better this time. I've wrapped the um, sarin wrap, the uh, cling film around it a bit better this time because it was all a bit messy. So let me just check. Have I got enough both sides? Yes. So again, pin to the middle of the block. Pressing your cinema around on that, just on the one side. Don't try and do both sides at the same time. It won't work. Again, stretching the cinema over. Pin, pin, pin. To the middle of the block on the inside. It takes a while to do, but I thought I'd leave the video at normal speed just so you can see what I'm doing. Again, stretch it over those curves, stretch it long ways so that it curves around nicely with no um, crinkles and creases. Now 
as I say, you need quite good quality cinema. If it's a very loose weave, you'll need a lot of layers for it to hold its shape. Oh, something fell off my desk. Oh, excuse the banging noises. Once you've pinned all of one side and you're happy with it, turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side. Again, pinning to the middle. You will have excess cinema all over the place at this point, but don't worry about that. Just pin as near to the middle as you can, stretching round again, making sure that you've stretched it and you've got no um, pleats. The next video I'm going to do is going to be with buckram and fabric. So, uh, but I thought I'd start with the cinema first because a few people have said, oh, it's awkward to, to block on a halo block. But I have to say it's such an easy block to use with just normal pins. No strength required for my poor arthritic fingers. Halos have become very popular over the last year or so and I have to say they do look very effective once they're done and they're very easy to wear with an updo or long hair, doesn't really matter. Now, because you can't really block to the very end and over, what I'll do is put a couple of clips on the ends just to keep the cinema in place while it's drying. So there it is on the block, nice and smooth and looks effective. And now it's got to dry. I did speed the process up a bit with the hairdryer because I wanted to carry on with the videos. So, And you can use a hairdryer and an iron on these blocks as long as you keep moving and you don't heat it up too much. So then we take all of our pins out. Be careful on the narrow ends because if you've got long pins like these, they can poke through to the other side. And I, I did stab my finger at one point, but uh, that's the perils of sewing and millinery, isn't it? Minor injuries as we go along. Right, I'm going to cut off some of the excess at the ends here, just leaving a couple of inches. And I'm going to cut off some of the excess in the middle, but don't cut right to the middle. Just cut off so that you've got the bulk out of the way, but don't cut it too close. Otherwise, you'll um, find you've wrecked it. So, so there we are. Now I'm going to take it off the block and see how it's uh, come on. See, it takes a minute or two to uh, ease it off the block. Now, I, I forgot to add earlier, I did brush over some PVA 
uh, stiffener on it while it was still wet because I wanted to make sure it was very firm. So if you haven't got it that firm, do um, add some stiffener at that point. Now I've taken the sarin wrap off and I'm just popping it back inside the shape. The reason I took the wrap off was that that was quite wet in places and I don't want um, any moisture on the uh, cinema. Once you've popped it back in, you can see how the shape is going and you can see now wh where it reaches the middle and where it's too wide at the middle. So what I'm going to do is mark down the middle and just cut the cinema so that it reaches, both sides reach to the middle or just over the middle. So I'm using a piece of chalk to just mark a line down the middle so that I don't want any major bulk. So I can cut that out of the way. Once you've cut away um, the excess in the middle, you should find that the middles nicely overlap or at least join together in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little iron just to press those down as well. And I'm also going to cut the ends a little bit shorter. So I'm pressing the ends in. And I'm going to just press that flat in the middle so we've got a nice flat surface. And again, as I say, you can use an iron on here, but keep it moving. Um, don't hold it in place for too long. So once you've done that, and then I'm going to trim off any little bits that I still think are a bit too long or don't overlap. So we, in effect, we've got sort of a seam down the middle on the inside. Now, while that's cooling down, I've got a strip here that I'm a little bit of spare and I'm cutting a strip about two and a half inches wide that will be long enough to go around the middle inside. And I'm folding this into a bias strip. So fold the two edges over. You need a piece that's going to be about an inch at least wide. And then I'm going to iron that flat. And then what I'm going to do, because either side of the halo down the middle is narrower, so about a third of the way along, I'm going to stretch it narrower at one end and then stretch it narrower at the other end. And now what will happen is when I put that in the middle, the wide bit in the centre and the narrow strips to either side, they will cover that middle seam. Now, this is the way I do it. This is not the be all and end all way of blocking, but it's up to you how you do it. But I found this was successful. So I've taken the block out of the cinema again. I'm cutting the ends off and they'll be folded over. So I'm going to just fold each end over just slightly to make a nice neat finish on the ends. If you need to cut off any excess, do so. Don't cut it too short, otherwise the headband won't reach behind the ears. But I found this is quite a long headband if you, if you did it all the way to the pointed ends, so you can get away with cutting an inch or so off. So I'm just cutting that so that it fits nicely 
in the middle. Now, because it's cinema and because it's hollow, it is quite fragile, so don't squeeze and press too much. It'll be very sturdy when it's finished, but while you're working on it. So I've put a pin in that side and then I'll do the other side to match. And then do check that your sides are sort of equidistant and it all looks neat. So just fold over the ends. In effect, you're sort of mitering it a bit at the ends. Excuse me, disappearing off the screen again. It's not good, is it? You'd think after a couple of years of doing this, I'd know what I was doing. Yeah, other milliners may do this in a totally different way, but I just found this was very effective and looked very neat and tidy if I did it this way. So we're going to stitch this to the middle get it so it's neat and tidy it covers up the seam you'll need to chop each end and fold it over and stitch it down now use a curved needle it's too difficult going around the inside with a straight needle you'll deform the block the um, cinema so a curved needle is my advice for this So cut off the excess at the ends, fold it over and start stitching. Now I'm using extra strong thread for this, as with most millinery, you need a uh, good strong thread. I'm only using a single thread, doesn't need to be double. Um, and I'm going to, I haven't stitched the ends closed, so please note that. Although I'm stitching down one side and then the other, I haven't stitched the ends closed at this point. And you'll see why in a little bit. So stitch neatly all the way down one side and then round at the end and then up the other way. Fairly small stitches, but luckily with this, they don't really show the black thread on the black cinema takes a while to do it's a bit fiddly and when it's done it looks very neat and tidy on the inside so there we are now you can if you want add elastic to the ends and then stitch them shut but I'm actually going to put a headband inside I've got a narrow metal headband covered headband to match the cinema and that is going to be threaded through to both sides. I then stitch it to the headband at each end and close the ends up. It means that the headband will fit securely on the head and I was really pleased with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, click for notifications. Look forward to speaking to you again soon.